Your idol growing up was Magic Johnson, yeah. a guy you admired greatly. And then, of course, you know, you get to know Magic as the owner of the team. Magic said, and Shaquille O'Neal, with whom you've had an up-and-down relationship, said that you are the greatest Laker of all time. Do you agree with that? And what does that mean to you? Well, I'll never disagree with my elders. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, like, I, I grew up watching Magic, and, and, and um, I've had, you know, I've, I've learned so much from him. I can't sit here and be like, you know, I'm the greatest Laker ever. To me, he is, because... So you guys don't know, you're you know, the dude, greatest without Laker. Without him... You're no, the greatest listen, Laker. I, I gotta, to keep it real with you, like, I, I, I've stole so much from him... Uh-huh. ...that my game wouldn't be complete without him, so... I was thinking about this today, your numbers 8 and 24, which, first of all, I, will, I wonder, I know that in basketball, no single team has ever retired two numbers, but I wonder if it's happened in any sport at all. Do you have any idea? I, have no I don't idea. think it has. I looked it up and tried to figure it out, but it also adds up to Magic's number 32. Is that a coincidence? Wow. <laughs> well, I think probably it is, based on your reaction, and this is the first you're hearing I'm just, it. I'm just, I'm just marveling at the depth. Of this of yeah. observation. Right. Well, see, one of the great things about me is I can add. <laughs> Who knew, man? I don't know. I didn't know. Hey, congratulations. Man. I popped it. It That's just awesome. popped in my head. Do you have friends? Do you have, like, guys you hang out with? Uh, do I have friends? No, I have, I have no friends. Is it true? Yeah, no, zero. <laughs> I hate people. Like, is Michael Jordan a friend of yours? He's a, he's a good mentor of mine. He's like a big brother. He is, okay. Yeah. So you, how regularly will you speak to Michael? I don't know. Like, every, in a year's every, time. Every once in a while. Every maybe. once in a while. And uh, Will Smith was here a few weeks ago. He was talking about Michael and how he just constantly wants to compete as, when it comes to everything. All like, the time. Literally everything. Does he do that with you? Yeah. He does. He tries, yeah. He tries. <laughs> Try. And what things does he try to compete with you? I don't know. I mean, uh, the last time we had dinner, he was uh, talking about, you know, my year in 1991 um, versus your peak year. I would have kicked your ass. And all this stuff. I said, Mike, come on now, let's <laughs> enjoy the salad. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. Would you we both know that's not going to Would you and Michael go out to dinner? Who picked up the check at the end of that meal? Well, he does. He's big brother. Oh, he does? OK. <laughs> big brother always picks it up. Is that how it works? That's how it works. I man. see. Do you talk to any of the young guys on the league? Do you, like, are you following the team this year? I, I, I follow them because, you know, Rob is you know, such a close family friend. So he and I talk all the time. OK. Uh, but I follow the young guys. And, you know, I look at what they're doing. And... You ever pick up the phone and call any of those guys? Um, Kuzma I speak to every now and then. Mm -hmm. uh, Julius Randle I speak to every now and then. You do? OK. Um, but listen, they have a bright future, man. You just got to be patient. Right, right. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is, you know, break the team up and then four or five years from now look back and see how great they are someplace else. Lakers fans tend to be impatient because we're used to having great players like you <laughs> and like, you know, Shaq and Magic and Kareem and all these guys one after the other, and then we can't understand it when they're suddenly a lull. But, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't come out winning championships. We were horrible. We were getting swept by the Jazz, swept by the Spurs. I mean, we, we stunk. Do you tell that to the players when you go in the locker room? I do. I tell them it's a process, but ultimately you just got to go through it.